Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. This one's just too funny to let go. So, go grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, because we're going to have fun. Government website claims Santa will move to the South Pole to escape global warming. Kid you not. This is a Canadian site. <laughs> the Canadian government website <laughs> claims Santa Claus signed an international agreement to locate, <laughs> relocate his workshop to the South Pole to escape the effects of man-made global warming on Earth. <laughs> The website for, I'll show you this in a bit, the website for Policy Horizons Canada government website notes, notes that due to rapidly melting Arctic ice and growing human operations in the north, Santa Claus is in an agreement with the international community to relocate, relocate his village next year to operate in an Exclusive zone in South Pole. <laughs> Where's it gonna move it next? Mars? <laughs> this one's precious. Policy Horizons was created to advise government officials on the emerging public. <laughs> Policy issues. I can't deal. This, the group put out a series of Christmas themed blog posts that tie into emerging liberal policy concerns. Verizon's also put out blog posts on Santa relying on a self flying sleigh, investing in Bitcoin, and even using 3D printing technology to make toys. The latest blog posts, however, is meant to focus on climate revolution. <laughs> They're calling Santa Claus a <laughs> fictional. <laughs> expired trademark of the Coca-Cola company, they're calling him a climate refugee. <laughs> oh, this is good. Santa's relocation agreement marks the first time the international community agrees on a common legal definition of climate change that includes refugees as corporations as well as individuals, reads the Verizon's website. Deals expected to lead to the deployment of global climate change refugee visa <laughs> system that in the near future could help to more easily relocate individuals and corporations facing the impacts of climate change website continues. <laughs> Politicians and environmentalists have been claiming for years that man made global warming. Will increase the number of peoples displaced by extreme weather events and violent conflicts. A recent study even claimed temperature changes drove increased populations for asylum in Europe. A study, a June study, predicted two billion climate <laughs> change at refugees by the end of the century. If nothing is done to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. <laughs> I can't deal. Most famously, UN Environment Program predicted there would be 50 million climate refugees by 2010. When that didn't come to pass, the UN quietly removed the webpage containing the information, pushed the prediction to 2020. <laughs> Let's take a look at that. <laughs> Right here it is, Government of Canada. Thanks to rising, rising global temperatures, rapidly melting Arctic ice, and growing human operations in the north, Santa Claus has signed, <laughs> signed an agreement with the international community to relocate his village next year to operate in an exclusive zone in the South Pole. <laughs> there you have it. It's right here in black and white. <laughs> oh, this is rich. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I can't handle it. I'm done. Have a nice, have a Merry Christmas. I might even 
I might even get apple <laughs> episode 13 of Mars Station done. <laughs> I better get stop laughing. <laughs>